Hey, YouTubers, breaking news. New Apple phones out there. Head over to apple.com to check it out. I'm going to go through some of the pages with you um, in case you're too lazy to hit the button. Just kidding on that part. But uh, lots of cool stuff over there. So uh, starting at the very bottom, the new model, the iPhone XS, starts at 749 has the, uh, you would think, the lowest capacity version is 64 gigs. So that's what you get at 749 uh, Quite a bit more. You will get 512 gigs. 512 gigs, that's half a terabyte. That is just ridiculous for a phone to have that much freaking uh, storage space on it. So size-wise, um, 6.24 ounces, which is uh, comparative to uh, most of the phones out there these days, like a LG V20, V30, or the Stylo 4, or uh, even the Samsung S9s, S-whatevers. Um, so... Color choices. Uh, I've seen that there's a bunch more color choices besides this, uh, depending on the model. You may also see red, black, and uh, coral blue, I believe. Um, or, excuse me, blue, coral, and yellow. So that part's pretty cool. Here's some of the dimensions on it. Where's the diagonal size at? We wanna, there you go. So the XS is 5.8 inches. You got the XS Max is 6.5. A lot of cool features in these. Some of them, you know, not that uh, big a deal because you see them in other phones and some of the other iPhones. But uh, they're, this is the uh, looking almost like the ultimate phone. Let's look at uh, jump over the, uh, the XS Max. Um, you know, it's got those things you love in it, the retina display. This has a 6.5 inch screen, so it's almost zero border. Uh, so, you know, some of the phones that are out there that are 5.7, this will be, uh, from the outside of the case, basically the same size, but the screen's that much bigger. OLED screen. Um, it's going to be a pretty awesome screen, I would imagine. I was a little surprised by the pixel resolution, though. I believe my current uh, LG V20 uh, has about 500-some PPI, so that is, uh, that's surprising that that one is actually better uh, than this new Apple iPhone. But uh, it is what it is, right? Uh, here's some cool stuff. So I think all these new ones are going to have the new A12 processor, their next generation. And I'll tell you what, if we can find it on here real quick. Yeah, it's in a different location on here. 15% uh, faster for most things and up to 50% as far as the GPU that uh, is, I guess, attached to the, the CPU in this thing, uh, making gaming even that much better. So that makes it something you and your kids are going to want. And if you have one, your kid's going to want to play it all the freaking time. Um, I would imagine this chip will be in the next generation iPads. All right, so dual 12 megapixel um, wide angle and telephoto cameras. Nothing super huge there. A lot of other companies have uh, even higher megapixels in their uh, their cameras uh, and have the dual thing. The wide angle is awesome when you have doing a selfie and you've got somebody uh, next to you, um, or excuse me, you're taking a regular photo and you want widescreen. I'm assuming this has the dual on each side, uh, or that dual capability, uh, like some of the other phones, but I have to double check that one. So here is a big plus, actually. 2X optical zoom. Um, I believe there's only one or two other phones that I've read that actually have optical zoom built into them. And what that means is, you know, basically you're going to get to zoom in on stuff uh, at least double the size and keep, you know, nice crisp image before you hit that digital zoom. And this digital zoom up to 10, which that's freaking incredible. But digital zoom, you know, gets really grainy. So you need a really high res photo to be able to um, appreciate what you took a picture of. So another cool thing, panor panorama, 
uh, up to 63 megapixels. So that's quite a few pictures stacked together uh, at very high res. So some really cool stuff in there with just the camera. Video-wise, now this is one reason I want it. One reason I'm either thinking um, something like this, the LG V30, Samsung S9, 4K video recording at 60 frames per second. Just to buy a regular camera, video camera that will do that, will set you back quite a few dollars. Um, I usually shoot my stuff with a Panasonic FZ80, which is a really nice camera, but it only shoots 30 frames per second 4K, so... Um, Eventually, it's going to have to go because when I edit and slow-mo stuff, it just doesn't look as good as it would at the higher frame rate. All right, nothing spectacular here about 1080p or 720p. We'll skip on. We already talked about the 2x, but this is awesome. Slow-mo video support at 120 frames per second or 240 frames per second. That's going to make your slow-mos look great. Um, I, this is something I wish I had. You can take 8 megapixel still photos while recording 4K video. That is awesome. And so um, some of this other stuff, not so special. Face ID, we already talked about that. So this is, this is pretty cool. Um, soon they're going to have the video up from their little, uh, you know, tech display thing they did today. And even though I won't be able to record that and put it back up, I don't believe uh, you can head over and see it. In case I didn't know, mention it, pricing starts at seven forty nine. dollars should be for the iPhone XS up to ten ninety nine dollars for the iPhone XX Mask, XS Max. So kind of interesting they would use that terminology instead of plus because some of the other uh what is it the koreans are using uh max in theirs and there may be some other people great movie if you haven't seen that really enjoyed it if i had this phone i probably would watch it on the phone all right so here let's go look at the a12 bionic so you can see what it's about whole new level of intelligence uh, here you go. Two performance cores up to 15% faster than the A11 Bionic. And then down here, for those that you like gaming, four core GPU up to 50% faster than the A11 Bionic, which was, I think, 30 or 60% faster than the one that came before it. So pretty cool, people. Apple is uh, going to take the, I would say, take the lead on everybody. I don't know if there's new any any new iPads out yet. But uh we'll leave it at that. So go check the site out. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe.